big part of being a chef is controlling heat movement into or out of foods using ovens, grills, freezers, and the like. Let's take a closer look at how heat moves at a molecular level. What we feel as heat is actually the motion of molecules. The faster they move, the hotter the substance. Heat moves from hotter areas to cooler ones. This movement of heat occurs in three ways, conduction, radiation, and convection. Conduction is the transfer of energy between molecules through direct contact. The faster moving molecule transfers some of its energy to the molecule it hits, like billiard balls. Since conduction works via collisions, the denser the material, the faster the transfer. As the oven heats food, the hot surface molecules transfer energy inward by conduction. Even after the food is removed from the oven, energy continues to be conducted inwards, causing carryover cooking. Conduction is the only way heat moves from the surface to the interior of foods, regardless of how they are heated. Radiation energy is transmitted via electromagnetic waves made of photons, the basic unit of light. This is how the sun heats the earth. Hot surfaces like heating elements in an oven radiate photons outward. That's why they glow. As these photons hit food, they can be reflected away or absorbed. If they are reflected, no energy transfer takes place. If they are absorbed, they transfer their energy to the molecule that absorbed them, making it move faster. This heats the surface of the food. Darker foods absorb a larger proportion of the radiation than lighter foods and thus heat faster by radiation. Microwaves also cook via radiation. Photons emitted by the oven are absorbed by and heat polar molecules like water in foods. This heat is then conducted inwards to cook the core. Convection only occurs when heating is done in a fluid such as a gas like air or a liquid like water or oil because convection involves currents. In convection, hot molecules are continuously brought to the surface of the food to impart energy to it and are then swept away by currents and replaced by new hot molecules. These currents can be generated naturally or artificially. Natural convection comes about because as molecules are heated, they become less dense and rise and are replaced by cooler molecules, which are then heated and rise, continuing the cycle. Forced convection employs fans or pumps to move the hot air or liquid around the food. As new molecules are continuously delivered to the surface of the food to impart heat, convection can substantially speed cooking processes. Modern ovens, such as a combi unit, can employ all three heat transfer mechanisms to cook food. For example, bread. Heat is radiated from the elements, which heats the air, the bread, and the baking sheet, which conducts heat to the bread. A fan in the oven creates convection currents to speed the heating by moving the hot air around inside the oven.